and today I will be showing you how to make a video game in Scratch 2. So, let's get started. And first, of course, you've got a cat. You've got a picture of a cat, which is a sprite. You can move around and do whatever you want with it. It's got an X and Y coordinates and just move it around anywhere in this white box. Actually, you can move it off the white box, but it only goes that far. It doesn't go anywhere outside of the box that you can actually drag, so you can't make it walk over here, but whatever. So, first, if you want the cat to do anything, then you'll probably want him to uh, first be started with like some sort of motion, like, let's say, this green button, so when I press this green button, let's say, it'll move. Move, 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 move. Okay, so it moves. I'm gonna click this to either one will work. So first you would probably want to pick out your theme and stuff like that, so I'm just gonna pick up uh, some sort of theme. I would say like Mission Impossible or something. Let me look around and maybe like maybe like space a space game. Space shooting game. Yeah, take the little cat, put him in here, so he's not like floating into space. And now he's in there, and now he can move and do that. That's kind of cool, but I mean, it's, it's just that it's kind of boring. Not gonna want to play that video game much. So let's give him some movement, different movements by different arrow keys or press presses. So I would say so forever loop and say if something is pressed like um if the key right right arrow I would say and just put this down. Now whenever I press my right arrow or if I press this and press my right arrow, he will move forward. So he only moves forward, so just duplicate that and do left and put it the opposite so minus and now he kind of does this floating moving cat uh, it's a little bit boring and just weird looks weird just does so I'm going to give it an animation so it's got a running animation and this, and if you kind of put it together, then you know, it kind of looks like a walking animation. So I would say it would switch to the next costume every single time it ever like it ever moves. So it like kind of do that. It's a little fast. So maybe I'll do it a little bit slower by um, putting in a, s a slight time. So it will go only for about, I would say, 0 0.5, 0 0.05. And do that the same with the other one. So, okay, there. So now, he kind of walks over. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't turn, so it looks a little bit weird like he's walking backwards. So... We should take this and change it to left to right, so now... Okay, I'm kind of being a little bit dumb here. Okay, so it turns out you kind of have to, like, uh, change it a little bit. So, what you have to do is you take the set rotation style left to right, and then you just say, point in this direction when that's happening and point the opposite and that's happening that way oh here oops it's a green flag there that way he's going oh right direction uh that does mean that we have to change this to 10 since he's walking forwards even if he's going backwards then he's still walking forwards so yeah that's what you have to do to make him turn I, I kind of think it looks a little bit weird when he's like this, but whatever. Who cares? 
Anyways, um, now let's make some sort of shooting game out of it. I would say make him have a gun, because that's always pretty cool. Uh, take this, and I'm just going to make something kind of simple, not the best. I'm not very good at drawing, so, oh, uh, line there. So take this and draw a line, and then bam, 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 bam. Bam. And that kind of looks like a gun. So we're going to fill that with some color. It looks a little bit more like a gun now. Uh, I'm going to change it a different color. It matches exactly with its background. So there, that looks a little bit more. Although he's like letting, you've got to do it on both. So. No, the for the next frame they've got I've got a like a outline so oops oops I don't think I'm doing this right okay okay now I just fill it with black there so now he's a walking mountain with her gun or a walking cat with a gun, I should say. So, now he's got that. Uh, another thing to add is jumping. He's got to jump. It just, it doesn't look cool if he can't, like, do this jumping attack with a gun. So, let's say if we do the up arrow, then he will stay in his 90 degree angle or whatever. Actually, it... Just keep it his whatever he's at so it doesn't mess it up. And he will jump, so I will take this out and this out. Pretty much take out the entire thing. Uh, we don't need to we can keep that back in, but say change the Y by this and change it by that and then say minus for coming back down. And then put a little bit of a timer so it's not so quick you can't even see it. Or at least doesn't completely not do it at all because it's doing the same uh, of itself. And say point 0.1. Point 0.1 seconds. And now if we, the, if we connect it to this. He kind of jumps. It's really not that cool or anything. It really isn't cool at all, so why not make him look a little bit cooler in his jumps? By adding a more jumping way higher and making it look a little bit more smooth by adding a little bit more of an animation to it, so that way it can be like say put a 5 here and then put another f uh, minus because it's going to be coming back down and duplicate this and then say minus 20 and you can make it even smoother than this but I say this is pretty good I might want to make it a little bit like jump a little bit higher so, like Say 30, say 10, or minus 10, 30. So that way it jumps a little bit higher. Yay. Yay. Okay. So now he jumps, which is pretty cool. And he jumps. That's really it. So let's make him shoot bullets or something cool will happen when they so we can use that gun yes. and let's do that by hitting the space button and I will get back to this later because I've gotta skip this entire thing because I gotta that done you can have the space button and kind of yeah, you you find something that you can have this do like 
maybe the gun can shoot. So you would want it to do something that would tell it to do that. So why not broadcast that it's going to be shot. So a bullet's going to come out and I might as well just call the bullet. So...